All right, so, so, so people in the chat, like, so, so uh, Ozzy's like, Android Master Race reporting in. All right. Oh, uh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> now, all right, here's another update from my wife. I'll give a quick, quick uh, droid razor. Remember, we're going to, we're waiting six months. We're going to have the trial now. All right, my wife originally, when she got her phone, said there was no size difference. And I, which I thought was absurd. You know, when I gave her the phone, she said, oh, it's the same thing as my iPhone. I said, really? This thing is, 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 is much wider than your iPhone. No, no, no. Okay, so now she acknowledges that it is a wider phone. So she kind of said, yeah, it is, a, it is, a, it is wider and, and, and bigger like that. And she then, again, honestly said, well, I miss my iPhone. I said, okay, all right, let's, let's take a look. Why do you miss your iPhone? She said, I don't know. It's just, I miss it. Uh-huh. And, and, and I said, okay, well, are, are there applications? Is it, is it, is, are you finding this new phone too hard to navigate or what? She said, no. I said, well, then why would you miss your iPhone? It was magicless. Well, no. She, and and, and um, because I, I went on there, I said, are you having trouble with email? And she says, nope, I like the, uh, I like the, the Android's email much better. I can delete my email faster. You know, she figured that out quickly. You know, she actually came to me, I think I said this on another show, where she couldn't even figure out how to delete uh, iOS email. So she likes the email from there. And that was another thing. I needed, I, I failed to, uh, I failed to add an email account onto Android. So she had, she had blamed the phone for that. And I said, no, it's because I didn't know your email password to add that account. So as soon as I added that other email account, she was really pleased with that. Uh, but she, she said, oh, I just missed, you, missed the iPhone. I said, well, and she just cracks a smile and looks at me. She says, well, you know, because it was, I said, okay, because it's cool to own the iPhone. She goes, well, you get that, it's that thing. I said, okay, well, you know, I can't argue with, all right, you want to have the, the fashionable thing of the time, fine, that's, but I said, okay, but is there any shortcomings you're having with this? She goes, no, I'm actually, I'm actually telling my friends they can send me all the emails they want with all the attachments because I told them what you told me, that Android will run whatever whatever attachment they send me. Well, said, not, okay, not quite. I mean, they're really Well, I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I said, it'll have no problem uh, running it. And, but, but what was funny is we were at my, my old, my, uh, my well, parents' well, house. Well, watch, now that you've said that, she's only going to get the, like, one out of oh, 18 exception to the rule. They send flash and all this stuff. But, but what was, what's funny is that, is that um, we were at my parents' house the other night, and, and my mom's friend, they just got an iPhone. They don't like the iPhone. My oh, mom's they, best friend, I wonder why. Why don't they like their magic? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. They own an iMac. I, and, 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 you know, they were, and, and this, because of the circle, um, when my parents got their Mac, and her best friends got their Mac, and all that, and they liked their Macs, and all that. So, now, the, uh, the husband has a Blackberry, Blackberry 6, and, and it's and it's slow, and I keep telling them, I said, well, what's your, it's a company phone, that's what they use. Um, but the, the, he got his wife, and he's having problems. Now he's coming to me, he's saying, well, I can't get Exchange to do this, and uh, Apple is excluding this mail account, and it won't, um, so I'm working with it. And I know we, I think we can overcome the problem for her, because uh, they want to run, like, they want to run, I think it was like two Outlook, I think it was, a, they, there's two Exchange backends, and there was an Outlook synchronization that had to occur that I'm working with them on, their, on this new iPhone that she got. But her words were, she's just like, I don't like it. She doesn't like the iPhone. She wants a hard keyboard. She can't stand the virtual keyboard on the iPhone. I, you know, and I'm honestly with her. I forget that new Android phone that no, actually... This is not my wife. This is not my wife. This is my mom's best friend. No, no, no. I, I know who you're talking about, but I'm the same way. There's a new Android phone that's like in the 4-inch form factor, but it's a, it's a slide, so it has a query. I can't remember the name of it. But, yeah, I love that that form factor is finally coming back because it's... Yeah, and... Yeah, and because look, my wife's Troy Razor did not have a hard keyboard, but no, and it's, it's one of the few things I don't like about that. Yeah, yeah, and and so I said, okay, uh, do you? I'll help people out, you know. I, I've whatever, okay, with iOS or Android, if it's what you know, hey, if it's WebOS, I'm like, you're you're on a new respect with me, but anyway, <laughs> I've never run into another really WebOS user. Uh, they. I, I said, okay, so what's your issue? And I'm working with them on this whole Exchange Outlook thing on iOS. But but 
she doesn't like that it doesn't have a hard keyboard. She says she's frustrated with, with typing on it. Um, I asked her about the phone calls, drop calls. She says she hasn't made enough calls yet to, to, to give me a, a, a well enough answer. And she said she'll, she will get back to me on that. And she doesn't, she says, yeah, it's, it's not the easiest to navigate. She is quite confused with it. But the, let's, let's keep it fair, though, against iOS either way. She went from a nothing phone to a smartphone. So this is her first smartphone, so I'm not going to really count that against iOS. Um, but, but, but like I said, my wife didn't find iOS all that intuitive. Um, you know, like I said, she did. She, she, she'd come to me with a bunch of questions on how, how do you delete email and all this other stuff. But I'm, I'm giving everything, you know, like a fair shot. So, but, but her best, my mom's best friend is not too pleased with it, and I think her husband got it because of the whole they're now entrenched with the Mac and they've got the whole iTunes deal and it is, it's true and it is frustrating that, and it's, we discussed this on the last stream that we can't that my wife's libraries now have to go to Amazon because I can't get a freaking iTunes uh, application on Android, which I think Apple should just do keep your ecosystem uh, well no, what kind of that? I don't know. I think uh, this I, this is falling asleep or something. I, I, I honestly, I'm here. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, no, I, I something, something. So, something did something. But no, you yeah. do you know why that's been made difficult? Apple's who made that difficult because they put that price locking thing in. It's that so when they wanted to do different pricing or different models that worked better for Android, they had to create a different app. It, it has to be under a different name. Under the, it has to be a separate entity, a separate app, a separate other crap. The, there's some applications whose model works well on both platforms, but there's others where they have to adapt their business model to work a different way on Android. And Apple says you can't do that, so they go fine. We're going to make an entirely different app with a different name. It's the same app, but it confuses the hell out of the user. And, and because the marketplaces don't talk to each other, you can't just transfer stuff. There we go. 